What's up guys? For today's build, I've got the Restorative Phoenix. This is a support-based Titan build that finally allows Titans to be that support competitor to Well of Radiance kind of thing for Warlock. So, getting right into it for our aspects, we're going to be running Soul Invictus so that we can create Thunspots. Uh, your abilities will regen faster, your super will drain more slowly, and also you will get restoration when entering it. But we'll be taking that to the next level with the exotic we will be using, which I will show in just a moment. We are going to also be using Roaring Flames so that our solar abilities will deal more damage. And also, whenever we do not have our melee charge, we still will be able to take advantage of a couple of mods and deal that solar damage to Scorch targets and feed us more Sunspots. <clears throat> Since we're running Roaring Flames, Firebolt is a really nice nade to be running with it. Uh, it allows us to create Sunspots much easier, has a very low cooldown, and with Roaring Flames times 3, it takes out basically everything. Since we're running Roaring Flames, as I mentioned, running Hammer Strike is personally what I think is the way to go. It allows you to take out a big group with uh, your ignition from taking down one enemy and can get you Roaring Flames times three right off the bat. Makes it really easy. And then once you have Roaring Flames, again, you can still take advantage of solar melees and create more sunspots. Your jump can be whatever you want, but if you're not using Strafe Jump, you're wrong. Your Barricade can be whatever you want as well. You're not really going to be using it, but I feel like Rally Barricade just has a little bit extra versatility to it. For the Super, I think the best way to go is Hammer of Soul, because that will allow you to create more Sunspots and feed uh, yourself and teammates more uh, Restoration and Ability Regen. Your Fragments, we're going to be running Ember of Torches, so your Powered Melee, and also while you have Roaring Flames, your Base Melee will make you and nearby allies Radiant. With Ember of Solace, your Radiant and Restoration effects will have increased duration. And then Ember of Benevolence, whenever you apply Restoration, Cure, or Radiant to allies, you get increased Grenade, Melee, and Class Ability Regen for a short time. So that will be stacking with our increased Regen from Sunspots and make our cooldowns much, much quicker. And then for our last fragment, we're going to be running Ember of Empyrean, so Solar Weapon and Ability Final Blows extend the duration of our Restoration and Radiant effects applied to us. Starting off with our mods, we're going to be looking at our helmet with a Solar Elemental Affinity so that we can run Bountiful Wells. So every time we create one Elemental Well, we'll be making two instead and doubling up. Because we're using so many solar weapons, Harmonic Siphon is going to allow us to create extra orbs to support us and our teammates. And then because we're going to be able to throw out so many grenades, Ash to Assets allows us to get that super just a little bit faster. For our gauntlets, really all we need, Melee Wellmaker, really easy. With Roaring Flames, every melee kill that you get while it's active will create a melee, and also, obviously, with Hammer Strike, you can create more uh, Elemental Wells. And again, since we're running Bountiful Wells, we will make two off of every kill instead of just one. On the chest piece, we're going to be running Solar Elemental Affinity again, so that we can take advantage of Explosive Wellmaker. Rapidly defeating combatants with explosive damage spawns a solar elemental well, which is basically everything we'll be using in this build. And then I like to pair it with Concussive Dampener for reduction of AoE damage, and also Armor of the Dying Star for that dual damage resist. The big exotic for this build is going to be Phoenix Cradle. So with this exotic... Every time our allies pass through Sunspot, they will also be granted Soul Invictus for those uh, increase of ability region for their grenade, melee, and class ability. And also will be getting Solar Restoration, allowing them to survive much easier. 
but it will also make our Soul Invictus last twice as long for us. And for the mods we're going to be running, you will want to run Elemental Ordinance and Invigoration. So every time you pick up a Orb of Power, you're going to be reducing your melee cooldown. On our mark, we're going to be running a Solar Elemental Affinity to take advantage of Well of Ordnance. So every time we pick up one of those Solar Elemental Wells, we'll get extra grenade energy. And Flame Harvesting from the Seasonal Artifact so that our Solar Exotics, every time we get two kills, will create multiple Solar Wells. But because we are running Bountiful Wells and Explosive Wellmaker and Yoten, if you take out two targets with one shot of Jotun, you will spawn four elemental wells instead of just two. Your kinetic weapon can be whatever you like. I like to run Chroma Rush because it has basically been my saving grace ever since Bungie Sunset Breakneck, which I dearly, dearly miss. But anyways, uh, with Jotun, also, if you have the Catalyst, it takes advantage of Incandescent. So that whenever you defeat a target, if it didn't kill anything standing next to it, it will scorch them. And if you take out that target, you're going to spawn another sunspot, which just continues to feed into the synergy of this whole build and being a support. For our heavy, I think the best way to go is Hezen's Vengeance with Cluster Bombs and Impulse Amplifier. Again, it allows us to take care of that solar splash damage for Explosive Wellmaker, creating more solar elemental wells. Real quick, for anyone who might be interested, my destiny for this build is the Siegebreaker Helm, the Tusk Allegiance Armor uh, for the Gauntlets, Siegebreaker Plate for the Chest Piece, Phoenix Cradle No Ornament, and Radagast Iron Sash for the mark and then I put ironwood on the helmet chest piece boots and mark and then used calluses elite for the gauntlets so real quick a uh, little gameplay demonstration run in there easiest way just get one quick shoulder charge off look at that already have roaring flames times three melee melee create more sunspots Already almost have my uh, shoulder charge back. You can run right around, throw out that nade, take out multiple. Look at that. Four elemental wells right there. Boom. Just keep on going. And this build only becomes more potent with teammates because if they run through your sunspots, you're getting that ember of benevolence and also giving them that increased ability regen. So, that is the Restorative Phoenix build. Uh, if you like it, please leave a like. If you have any suggestions for my next build, uh, leave a comment. And subscribe if you want more build content. Thanks for watching. I will catch you next time.